checking the operating conditions of equipment in the machine rooms and monitoring the daily situation from the maintenance center. Some 50 or 60 workers have been staying at the AI data center in Shanghai's Lingang Special Area under closed-loop management for nine weeks to ensure its normal operation. The computing center has been making every effort to keep essential services going during the outbreak while at the same time setting up new equipment for new projects. A project requires a very complicated coordination process, from algorithm development to equipment allocation. During the outbreak, we have been working to ensure the stability of the services for our current clients. Opened just about four months ago, the AI Computing Center now mainly provides computing services and R&D solutions including data analysis, model training and tech applications to local universities and research and development institutions and firms. There is increasing demand for the center's AI computing power, which help users reduce their R&D costs. Currently, the application demands for the development and computing power of our AI algorithms have been increasing constantly. We expect that within 8 or 10 weeks, we can finish all the new equipment scheduled for setup during the first half of the year. While most of the data center's clients are now located in Shanghai, the center expects that more users from outside the city will begin benefiting from its services. AI computing centers have huge costs and so have to be aligned with the digital transformation of the city and its industries. So they are now mainly concentrated in eastern areas, where there has been rapid digital transformation and full application of the industrial and consumption internets. So now, data resources that can be well capitalized and fully industrialized are mainly gathered in eastern regions. It is estimated that from last year to this February, more than 20 cities in China have completed or started the construction of AI computing centers.